All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Steve Molesberg Show. We are live and we are from our New York City studios. It's uh, Monday already. Lieutenant General Michael Flynn will join us momentarily, but a lot took place today. Um, lots of uh, arrests made last night at different uh, protests throughout the nation in response to, well, I don't know, in response to the two videos, I guess, of the police uh, shootings uh, in Louisiana and Minnesota. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, but I want you to hear what the police chief of Dallas had to say. Very interesting today. Become a part of the solution. Serve your community. Don't be a part of the problem. We're hiring. We're hiring. Uh, get off that protest line and, and, and put an application in. And we'll put you in your neighborhood and help, we will help you resolve some of the problems you're protesting about. Get off the protest line. We're hiring do something about it. That is a, a very provocative statement in a lot of ways and a very admirable statement for him to make, I think. I also want you to hear what Donald Trump said today at what was supposed to be, and it was, a, a pro-veterans rally. He laid out his, his strategy for the veterans of this country in Virginia, but he also said this. We must maintain law and order at the highest level or we will cease to have a country. 100% we will cease to have a country. I am the law and order candidate. Now, Hillary Clinton uh, did some speaking over the weekend while denying she uh, was careless with her emails. She said, oh yeah, I think the FBI, I think uh, Comey uh, clarified that. Uh, and she also had this to say about who's to blame for all the unrest. I will call for white people like myself to put ourselves in the shoes of those African-American families who fear every time uh, their children go somewhere, who have to have the, the talk about you know, how to uh, really protect themselves when they're the ones who should be expecting protection from encounters with the police. Yeah, it's white people's fault, according to Hillary. And then there's Rudy Giuliani, who really has stirred the pot with his comments about Black Lives Matter. Here's some of what he had to say yesterday. But when you focus in on 1% of less than 1% of the murder that's going on in America, and you make it a national thing, and all of you in the media make it much bigger than the black kid who's getting killed in Chicago every 14 hours, you create a disproportion. The All police right. understand it, and it puts a target on yeah. their back. Every cop in America will tell you that if you mm -hmm. ask them. Let's not forget what's been chanted at many Black Lives Matters protests. Here's a little sample. Make it 